hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to reveal an animate text with shapes in premiere pro so the first thing we need to do is to create a new graphics clips with some text inside so i'm going to go over to my essential graphics panel over here and ensure that you have already created a sequence because if you don't create a sequence you won't be able to create any title within the essential graphics panel under my essential graphics i'm going to click on edit come over to this icon here and select new layer and choose on new text and as you can see a new text layer has been created so i'm going to select my text icon over here and i'm going to type the word the premiere pro let me change the fill color to white so you can see it clearly all right guys so we have our text now the premiere pro next you want to do is to align it properly by selecting this align and transform icons here now the next thing we want to do is to add a rectangle that is going to wipe across this text so to do that i'm going to go back to add a new layer click on this icon and add a rectangle so you can change the color of your rectangle this is yellow because i chose yellow over here now the next thing i want to do is to make sure that this anchor point is at the right of this triangle so this anchor point this little circle over here is at the right point of this triangle if you are having difficulty making it snap you can just select control and it's going to bring up this snap lines and you, are, you can be certain that it is snapping at the end over there next thing i'll do is to select and drag this left portion of this rectangle down to form a line okay that looks okay and move the position to the right side of this text and now to be organized i'm going to rename this from shape to rectangle so i'll come over here right click select rename and write rectangle and hit ok the next thing I need to do is to create another rectangle that is like a mask that will cover up the text. So I'm going to come over here and to do that the shortcut to duplicate a layer in the essential graphics panel is to hit shift plus command plus the forward slash or you can hit shift plus control and the forward slash. So now what I'll do is I'm going to rename the one beneath and name it mask so I can differentiate them. Then at the very bottom over here, I'm going to select mask with shape and I'm going to also select invert. And that means that whatever this layer is covering is going to mask it out. So if I hide this rectangle here and I'm selecting this mask over here, I'm going to drag the left side of this mask so that it can cover up this text over here. So now I can switch back on the rectangle. The next thing I need is I need to be able to animate this rectangle over here. And I need the mask to move with it at the same time. And to do that, I'm going to select the mask layer over here. And then down here under responsive design position, I'm going to select this option pin to rectangle. And I'm going to select this middle point over here. And if I click in the center here, it means that all the edges of my mask will move when that rectangle is being moved. So the next thing I want to do is to move over to my rectangle here. And I can turn on keyframes just by selecting this icon over here next i'm going to jump over to one second over here and at this position i'm going to move my rectangle to the left side of the text revealing the text and you can notice that the mask and the rectangle is animating together so now if i select somewhere else and hit play from the beginning you can see that we have an animation that looks like this which looks great but i do find that the animation is a bit abrupt at the end so to make this a bit smoother i'm going to select my graphics over here and move over to my effects control tab over here select my rectangle and open this once i select it down a drop down comes up i can now select these keyframes that were created the one by the right i'm going to right click it move to temporal interpolation and select ease out select the first keyframe over here right click temporal interpolation and ease in and now we have something that looks like this the last thing i would like to add to animations like this is to not only have the rectangle slide in from the right but also to have the text slide in from the left and to do that i'm going to move over to one second in my timeline and select my text layer in my essential graphics and i'll turn on the keyframes for position at this point then i'll move to the very start of the sequence and then i'm going to slightly push that text to the left okay so what i'm seeing here is that the text is coming out of my mask so i can also always select my mask and increase the length of my mask to make sure that the text doesn't reveal i'll also select my text at this point 
so I'm going to move back to my first control tab over here drop it down to see my keyframes that have been added I'm going to select this and add temporal interpolation and ease out select the first one right click right click temporal interpolation and ease in all right guys so if I go back to my text over here from the beginning and hit play we have something that looks like this And don't forget to set your keyframes for your text and your rectangle to be on the same one seconds. So it should start at the beginning and it should end at the same one seconds for both your rectangle and your text. And you can also download these templates. I'll drop the link in the comment section and not in the description section. I hope you found this tutorial very useful and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.